is the farmer drowning his veggies? He's not drowning them, he's irrigating them. But you're always saying that we've got to save water. Wouldn't it be smarter to irrigate the field with less water? Well, perhaps the farmer can't help it. That irrigation channel may be over a hundred years old, and it's not very efficient at moving water around. And because it's not covered, water is lost through evaporation. So wouldn't it be better if it was a hose, like at home? Or big pipes. And these pipes could be controlled by the farmer with computers. So the water goes exactly where and when it's supposed to go. But how will he know when the veggies need water? Well, he could have moisture sensors in the ground that tell him when the ground is dry, and then he can get information from the weather bureau to see if it's going to rain or not. But what if it never rains? Well, that's why we need to know how much water there is in the dams and the rivers, and why we need to be able to move the water from one place to another. In big pipes? In big pipes again. To save water? Yep, to save water. And if we had smart water meters at home, we could all save more water because we'd know how much water we were using every day. And the water company would know how much water was being used each minute of the day and would know where there were burst water pipes and could fix them quickly. What will we do with all the water that we save? We can return more water back to the rivers and streams to keep them healthy and to keep the plants and trees and animals healthy too. And the fishes. And the fishes. Dad. Yes, Sarah? I know another way that we can save water. How? We could stop eating veggies. <laughs> nice try, Sarah.